Hey guys, welcome back. So as promised, here's my Alphabet inspired look. As you can see by the past few videos on my channel, the obsession is real. So I'm starting off with a Ben Nye water activated paint and it's really, really watered down at this point because I just want to tint the skin at first. Um, a really important thing about Alphaba is that she looks like she has green skin, not that she has green makeup on. Um, so you want to start with a thin layer first and then build up the opacity um, when you start going into contour and things like that. It's a lot easier to just watch. Oh, I saw Wicked a couple months ago, back in February. It's May now, and I am still obsessed. The CD is still in my car. Um, I keep listening to it. I keep drawing it, and obviously I keep working on tutorials for it, so why not round everything off on the YouTube channel with Alphaba? Then you want to go in with a green cream paint that is one to two shades lighter, just the same idea as concealing, and you want to fill in a couple of the sparse areas and also um, just bring more dimension to your face. So you want to bring out your cheekbones, bring back out your nose, everything. Just the basics of contour, just with green. Then you want to powder that really, really well. I'm using a translucent uh, powder. Uh, you don't want anything with a flesh tone tint um, because you really, you don't want to muck up the really nice green color that you've just created. So once everything is set, you want to go in with a deep purple shadow. This is what we're going to use to contour. Um, Again, the flesh tone colors, the browns, things like that, that's really going to make our face look dingy. The colors don't mix well, so we're going to use a very deep purple. I believe this is a MAC shadow. Um, it's a deep, dark, burgundy purple, and you want to start contouring with that the way you normally would. Um, Alphaba herself has very sharp cheekbones, so you really want to go in and define those. If you have cheekbones, you are lucky. I don't, so I really have to carve mine out. Next, I'm just taking a uh, green shadow. This one is in the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, it does have a shimmer to it. Uh, but the shimmer does bring, again, more depth to the face, and I'm just filling in the areas around the eyes. Next, I'm just using a highlighter that is yellow tinted. This is in the NYX Contour Palette. And then again, I'm just really packing in that shadow on the lid so we have something to blend into. Um, because all the makeup there is already set. Um, this shade of eyeshadow is almost the same color that I've already painted myself. Oh, hello there, eyeball. So now we're gonna start working on the eyes. Um, we're gonna start with a white matte shadow and then highlight the inner corner of the eye with that same shadow. Then you want to take the same purple we used earlier to contour and you want to start contouring um, the lid so that it stands out, you have a bit more dimension. But I like to start at the outer corner and work in and just really, really blend it out. And then if you blend away any of the green shadow on your lid, just go back in and pop some more on. Then to add even more dimension and bring out my eyelids a bit more, I'm just applying that same white shadow on my lid uh, just in the center and then blending it out. Then you want to really carve out um, that lid area, um, create a bit of a cut crease. So I'm just taking a very, very deep, almost black purple and just working that in there with a very light hand um, so we get a bit more contrast and so it's a little bit more sharp. 
Then I'm taking a matte black shadow and just sweeping it on the upper lash line just to pick up our eyes and make Then it helps if I actually get this in frame. There we go. You just want to take a really dark black liner. Again, I favor liquid liner, so just create a cat eye just to sharpen that. And then follow that up with a black liner on the lash line uh, to fill in any gaps and make your lashes look thicker. And then just to finish out the eyes, apply your favorite mascara um, or pop some lashes on depending on how bold you want to get. Then you want to go in and redefine your brows. Use a black shadow or a black pencil. She has very dark pointed brows to make her obviously look more witch-like. Then for the lips, it took me a couple different combinations to figure out what I wanted. Um, second actually has a very dark, bold lip, but I do really enjoy the green lip she has in the first act, so I'm using a couple different eyeliners in combination with the cream paint I used earlier. Um, this doesn't blend very well, so you really have to just keep working at it and keep working at it um, until you get the look that you want. Um, but I also wanted to go for a matte color, uh, again, because I want it to look a bit more like skin and less so like she's wearing lip product. And then don't forget to paint your hands. I would actually recommend employing the help of a friend to paint your hands, though. Uh, <laughs> I had a very hard time uh, painting my right hand with my left hand. Um, my left hand has one job, to be a hand, and it's really bad at it. <laughs> and then that's it. You're done. Thank you.